Educator. Hola, hello learners, and welcome to our remote learning. This is yet another really, really exciting episode of Agriculture for Grade 6. I will be your host from Goindirango. Our sign language interpreter is Velma Akinyi, and our teacher is Mr. Kevin Muhia. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you. Please, tell us what we are learning today. Today, mm -hmm. in our lesson, mm -hmm. we have been learning about the different types of soil erosion that we have. Yes. The different types of soil erosion. erosion. Okay. So, but we have never talked about soil. No, we haven't. And uh, yet, the soils are usually different. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, where I come from, mm -hmm. the soil sometimes turns to be red. Mm -hmm. I visited a certain place mm -hmm. where uh, during the sunny, uh, the sunny season, mm -hmm. the soil had lines. It had cracked. Okay. And it didn't look like ours. Mm -hmm. So me, I got to wonder, what, what's the difference? Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, and also um, from where I come from, when it rains, mm -hmm. the, the, the soil does not retain water. It just, you can actually just walk with slippers after it has just rained. And a very heavy rainfall in yeah. that water. Yes. Okay. Mm. So let's start with that fact. Okay. Where we talk about soil. Okay, I hope you guys have your books and pens and ready to write. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you know the different types of soil? Uh, I, can, I can try. Okay. Can I try? Try. Okay, so we have sand soil. Mm -hmm. Types of soil. Mm -hmm. We have said one, we have sand, sand. soil. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we have clay. We have clay. Yes. Uh -huh. And I think loam. Mm -hmm. Loam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Loam soil? Loam. My so we have tried. sand, uh -huh. clay, and loam. Yes. Those are basically the <laughs> main three. Okay. But we have others mm -hmm. where we talk about alluvial soil, mm -hmm. where they have different, they, there is soil that occurs in different areas. Mm. There is soil that is found next to the river, mm -hmm. and others found inside the river. Okay. Not inside the water, but... Uh, <laughs> Palachini. <laughs> You've seen where my brain has gone. Yes, I have seen you, you know, looking at the water like, soil. Mm -hmm. Now, how is the water inside, the soil inside the water? Yeah. No, palachini. Uh -huh. We call that the riverbed. Okay. Palachini, kabsa. Right. There is the different types of soil there. Okay. Next, that just kando ya mm. there is another type of soil. Okay. So go and find out where, which is which. Mm -hmm. What do we call that soil on the riverbed? Okay. And down there, Riverbank. Okay. So we have these different types of soil. Mm. We have the sand soil, mm -hmm. we have the clay soil, mm -hmm. and we have the loam Long. soil. Okay. So the three of them, I want us to look at the characteristics. Okay. And I want us to start with the first one, mm -hmm. which is clay. Okay. I want us to start with clay. Okay, so we are starting with clay soil. Have you ever touched clay anywhere? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a kid, uh, during when we used to have arts and crafts. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We used to be, we used to mold mm -hmm. using clay soil. We used to make okay. pots, dolls, balls, just different things. So you used soil. to model? Yes, we used to model with clay soil. Mm -hmm. mm. You model mm -hmm. a pot? Yes. You make a pot? You made a pot? Yes. Uh -huh. And yeah. did you use it to cook? No. Or uh, did it turn up to be a pot? No, it Or uh, something identical <laughs> to something that looks like a pot? Let's just leave it there. Okay. <laughs> we were told to make a pot. Okay. I made a pot. Uh -huh. <laughs> Back then in uh, lower grades. Yes. But I know by now, due to practice, you yes. can make a good one. I can make a good pot. And you know, mm. it's not a must to make a pot to cook. Yeah. Uh -huh. You okay. can make that pot mm -hmm. and use it like a flower vase. You okay. put your flowers, mm -hmm. you put it on the table. Okay. Just outside the house. Mm -hmm. So mm. you can use that pot for so many things. Not a must you cook with it. 
Okay, I think I'll try that. So that pot, that the reason I've asked you, that pot that you made in lower grades, mm. that looked like a pot. <laughs> yeah. Why threw it away? Did you throw it away? You could have put it somewhere, like a sculpture, mm -hmm. and put your flowers. Uh, well, you know, I didn't think about having my own place when I grow up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just... You could have put it in your parents' home and given it to your parents as a gift or your guardian. Well. And tell them, I made this for you. I'm going to gonna put make flowers. One. I'll make one, and put flowers it and take it home. Very good. Yes. And make sure it's a better one. Or you're going to re reciprocate what you did. Oh, let's see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> so, you model with it. Yes. Why is that soil good for modeling? It has different characteristics. Mm. Or it has several characteristics. Okay. For example, mm -hmm. we have the diagram of the clay soil there. Mm. By looking at it, you can see it is somehow smooth. Yes. It's usually very smooth. Very smooth. When yes. you feel it, mm. you can just feel it sliding. Yeah, it's very smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. So we usually say it has smooth texture. Okay. Texture is the feel, mm. the smoothness mm. or roughness. Okay. So this clay soil, mm -hmm. one, it has very poor drainage. Okay. Drainage, this is the ability of water to pass through soil. Okay. Or we can say it is the ability of soil to allow water to pass through. Through it. Okay. Okay. Got it? Yeah. So when you talk about drainage, mm. it's the ability of soil mm -hmm. to allow water to pass through. through. Okay. So the clay soil does not allow water to pass through. Okay. So it holds the water. Mm. And that characteristic, we say it retains water. Okay. So clay soil retains water. So that's our keyword. Our keyword yes. is retain. Retain. Okay. That is, it holds water. Okay. So we can say it has very poor drainage, mm -hmm. but it has the best water retention. Okay. Is that why when you're making a mud house, you use mm -hmm. clay soil? Yeah. Because okay. it will not allow water to... To go through. To, to pass you. through it, yes. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. And once it's dry, mm -hmm. it cannot allow the water again to pass through because already it is compact. Yes. The reason, because the reason you feel the smoothness, mm. it has very small and tiny particles. Okay. The particles are tiny. That's why you cannot see them. Mm. It's very smooth. It's yes. just like something that has just mm. something flat. Mm. You see it? Yes. Good. So we have said it has very poor drainage. Mm -hmm. Two, it has small particles. particles. Okay. Another one, it has the best water retention. retention. Okay. Since it does not allow water to pass through, mm -hmm. it holds it. Mm. So we say it is the best for holding water. Okay. And since it is not allowing water <coughs> to pass through, it has poor drainage. Drainage. Okay. Water retention, this is the ability of soil to hold. To hold water. Drainage, ability of soil to... Allow water to go through it. Yes. Okay. And mm -hmm. it makes the longest ribbons. Ah, uh, okay. Longest? Ribbons. Ribbons. When you talk about ribbons, mm. this is where when you're using that soil, mm. usually, from, what do you call it? Usually put it in your hands mm -hmm. and you start doing this. Yes. And when you're doing that, mm. it's going to form ribbons. Yes. The longer the ribbon, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, the better actually. Mm -hmm. Because for you're my going modeling, to, for your modeling, yeah. when you're making that pot, yes, you are going to make a bigger one. Yes. So when you talk about clay soil, it mm -hmm. makes the longest ribbons. ribbons. Okay. The keyword, longest. Okay. So we have our clay soil there. Okay. And we have said it. Mm -hmm. You used it to model. model. So yes. the use of the clay is to mm -hmm. model. model. Ah, okay. So. Clay soil is used for modeling. Okay. We got to the next type of soil, which is sand. sand. Being sand, some of the characteristics of this sand. Mm. Let's first look at this picture mm -hmm. and get to see. By looking at it, you can see it's different from what we had before. Yes. This one is not, uh, it's not smooth, mm -hmm. it's not, uh, but it's somehow shiny and you can visibly, uh, physically see. Yes. The disintegration. You can see the particles. Yes, you can see the particles. Because it has big particles. Particles, okay. The particles are big. Mm. And if we can um, relate mm. the properties or the characteristics that we talked about, clay mm. and sand, mm. we can say 
One, it has the best drainage. Okay. It allows water to pass through mm. very smoothly. Yeah. Like you have said, mm. once it rains, you can even walk out with slippers. With slippers, yeah. Because it has the best drainage. The water just flows away. Flows through, okay. It has <clears throat> big soil particles. Mm. Those particles, that's why if you put it on your fingers, you can feel it. Mm. Mm. You can feel the yes. roughness. Yes. You can feel the particles. Mm. The other one, it has the poorest water retention. Okay. Clay soil had the best water mm -hmm. retention, but poor drainage. Yes. Now, sand soil has best, best drainage, drainage poor retention. Yes, it does not hold water. Okay. Then from there, mm -hmm. we can say it makes... No ribbons. And you see it's a capital? No. No, no ribbons. Yes. Because to make the ribbons, you need water. Yes. Is sand holding water? No, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah. So you find it's just going to be particles. You put them in your fingers, you do this, they just disintegrate and fall. Yeah. So it's not going to make any ribbons. So it's like sugar or salt. They yes. Just, yeah. So we have said these ones make the longest ribbons. Mm -hmm. These ones make the mm. no ribbons. Mm. Clay makes longest. Mm -hmm. Sand makes no ribbons. Can I make a funny comparison? Uh -huh. So comparing sand and clay with our products at home or the things that we have at home, mm -hmm. we can say clay is um, ungayangano, that chapati flour. Because uh -huh. you can easily make ribbons with it uh -huh. as you roll for chapati. Okay. And then for sand, we can compare it to sugar and salt. Mm -hmm. Like big particles, then if you put, it just flows through. Okay. Does that work? Yeah, we can see. My interpretation. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> no, I see where you're getting is at it? now. You're talking about, <laughs> you're thinking about chapati. Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's no, continue. Okay. <laughs> then, now we have the longest ribbons. Yes. Sh uh, no ribbons. No ribbons. So if this is the longest, mm. which soil is going to make the shortest? Loam. Because here there is no ribbons. Exactly. Yeah. So loam soil makes the shortest, shortest ribbons. ribbons. That's one of the conclusions I wanted you to come. Okay. Loam soil mm. makes the shortest ribbons. ribbons. And loam soil mm. is mostly used for farming. Okay. It is the one that you use for farming. Okay. Because loam soil is usually moderate. Yes. It is usually moderate. When you talk about sand, mm. sand is used for construction. Mm. When you're constructing your house, mm -hmm. you mix it with the cement mm -hmm. and you plaster yeah. your house. Yes. You join the stones and all that. Okay. So this one is used for construction. Mm. But loam soil is used for farming. For farming. Okay. So that is about types of soil. soil. Clay soil. Mm -hmm. Sand soil mm -hmm. and loam, loam soil. soil. Now, you move the soil from one place to another. Okay. That one we called it erosion. Yes. Being erosion, what are some of the effects? Some of the effects. Some of the effects okay. of this mm. soil erosion. Mm -hmm. Some of the effects of this soil being from moved from one place to, to another. another. Give me an example. Um. We, in our previous lesson, I remember we talked about uh, low yields. Mm -hmm. So that is one, low that yields. That is one. And then we have slides, mudslides. Mm -hmm. And then we have the... So we can say the landslides. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. having that, yeah. does it mean, because when we talk about low yields, this is a negative. Yeah, that's Land a negative. Landslide, that's, that's a also negative. also a negative. Does it mean it's all negative? No. Mm -hmm. No, I think we have positives. For example? For example, we have, um, uh, how do I, like canyons. Mm -hmm. The canyons. Oh, valleys. Some of them are really beautiful. Yeah, and you can go hiking there and uh, yes. all that. Yes, yes. Okay, so yes. let us go through and get to see some of these places mm. and some of these effects. Okay. So we have said the effects can be positive. positive. And they can be negative. They can be negative, yes. like for our example here. Mm -hmm. So we have the first one. Mm -hmm. Let us look at the negative effects. Mm -hmm. We have that diagram there. I want us to discuss. What can you see? Potholes. You can many, see many potholes. potholes. Making that road uh, unusable. Very smooth. <laughs> Is the road smooth? Very rough and unusable. Yeah. No, I'm trying to imagine the person driving that is going to drive on that road. And you don't even know how deep the potholes are. And you see it's covered with water. Are you even walking? You know, you're just walking there, you may just... You fall you inside. fall inside. Because you don't know how deep the water is. Yes. Uh, that hole is. Yeah. So you find mm. these are some of the effects. Mm. The road, it just started with a small splash. Yeah. 
but eventually it has become a very big pothole. Mm -hmm. And you look at this first one here, it has almost covered the whole Road. road. Yeah. So you try to maneuver to the other side, you as the driver, you may find yourself falling into the ditch. Into the ditch, it's true. Or going to the, another person's fence. Yeah. So that road, it, those are some of the effects. It's mm. a negative effect. The yes. road has become unusable. Unusable, yeah. We go to the next one. Mm -hmm. We have that land. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm trying to foresee the future. If you will mm. not change and you continue digging grandma's farm. <laughs> if you still continue digging the ground from top to bottom, yeah, you're going to make the land slide. Yes. And if you look, the ground up here is flat, mm. but down here it's slanted. Yes. The land has gone. Mm. The land had slid away. Yeah. Because now the soil becomes loose yes. and it slides away. Yeah. Remember I gave you that story of the person. Mm -hmm. Person A, A and person, person B. B. There was a river. river between, yes. This person knew how to cultivate, mm -hmm. but this one didn't. Yes. So the land slid away. Mm. And when sliding, it came and joined with this one, mm -hmm. making the river to go round. And change its channel. So the person mm. is, who knew how to cultivate, now got a reward of... Bigger land. Of bigger land. Okay. Okay, we continue. Yes. Another one. We have a road there. That is broken. That is broken. Completely broken. Now what is going to happen to you, the motorist, going to the other side? If you don't know the road is like this, you, you'll crash. you just come and crash yeah. into that pit. Yeah. Because now it looks like a pit. Mm -hmm. And then just asking, what kind of erosion is this? Mm -hmm. Let me see if you can be able to, uh, to oh boy. compare. Oh boy, oh boy, mm -hmm. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's, this... Is it higher? Now let me give you hint, hints. Hint, hint. Mm -hmm. Is it deep? Yes, it's deep. What shape is it? It's U. Uh -huh. So this makes it a gully erosion. Simple. Yay. It's a gully. Yes. So you find these gullies, they, you may find them on roads mm. broken. Yes. So this person is just going to come crashing. Crashing, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. So those are some of the negative. Mm. The road breaks off. Mm -hmm. We have another one there where the house is. Yeah. The Almost person, no. Falling in. The land is going to slide. Mm -hmm. This person, yes, they are living here. Mm. But the la their land is sliding away. Mm. Because they are not taking care of that environment. Yes. They need to do something and prevent this soil here mm -hmm. from caving in again. Okay. So we have other effects which mm -hmm. are negative. Mm -hmm. We have the low mm -hmm. yields. Mm -hmm. We talked about the low yields. Yes. We talked about the landslides. Landslides, yes. And we have uneven, uneven grounds. grounds. If the land is bare mm -hmm. and uh, there is that splash erosion, mm -hmm. you're going to have tiny holes on the ground. Yes. Okay. We go to the positive effects. Mm -hmm. So we have that land. Mm. You can see that place. That is beautiful. It's just beautiful by looking at mm. it. And imagine that's our country, Kenya. Wow. Where is this? That's a place. It's a tourist attraction site. Wow. A place known as Hell's Gate. <gasps> I need to go. It's beautiful. No, please do. And hey. Mailana. Visit the place. Yes. Very nice. That is really A beautiful. very nice place. You mm. go hiking. Yeah. You go enjoy yourself. Yeah. And it's caused because of simple erosion. erosion. Yeah. So that's a tourist attraction mm -hmm. site. It creates beautiful sceneries. Okay. Another one. Mm -hmm. We have that. What it's, is this called? No, if you look at that, it it looks like a hill. Yeah. Because and you can see there are some channels on yes. the sides. Yes. So meaning, if we can deduce that, we can say there is some real erosion happening. Still happening, yes. So there is erosion. There is still erosion. So happening. that has been formed due to erosion. Okay. And we learn this in social studies. Mm -hmm. You call that an incel bug. Oh, yes, an incel bug. It's a hill yeah. formed due to erosion. Okay. The bare rocks. You usually find mm -hmm. a very flat land, mm -hmm. very nice land. But you just find a stone in Ms. Mama Pekiaki. Yeah. That's a hill. It's known as an icel bug. Okay. So that's are some of the effects. Okay. Then we have that. That's a bay. That's a bay. Yeah. A bay is formed due to erosion. erosion. Remember we said the bay, this is an enclosed water body. Water body by land. by land. And I do remember I asked you, what do we call the land now enclosed by a by water. Yes. And we give you an assignment to go and find out. Please comment. Go to our comment section and tell us what mm -hmm. it is called. This is a bay. Yes. Water in. Yes. What about land in? 
Mm -hmm. Now the land gets inside mm -hmm. the water body. Yeah. What do we call that? You want to tell them? Not now. Okay. Good. I'll tell them in future. Okay. They have to do their research. Yes. What do we call that? Mm -hmm. You know, that's when you now use your digital devices. Devices, yes. Go and find out. Mm -hmm. What do we call the land that has been enclosed, enclosed. by water. water? Yes. Okay. So, other effects. Mm -hmm. We have the creation of tourist attraction yes. sites. Mm -hmm. Especially if these erosion, they are beautiful sceneries. Mm -hmm. They are definitely going to attract the, the tourists. Mm -hmm. Like I've given you the example we have, that is there. The Hell's Gate, mm. that erosion, it makes people, a lot of people go there. Yeah. The simple incel bugs, mm. like for example, you have seen how beautiful it is. It is. You have even promised to go and see. Mm. You see? Mm -hmm. yeah. Another one, we have the sand dunes. Okay. They are found in the deserts. Okay. They are formed due to erosion. Okay. Remember we said we have different agents of soil erosion. Mm. Erosion, we have water mm -hmm. we have and we wind. have wind. Yes. These sand dunes mm. are formed due to wind. wind. Okay. Now, use your digital devices mm -hmm. and find out how these sand dunes are formed mm -hmm. and how they look like. Okay. Yes. Is that our assignment? No, that's not your assignment. Okay. All right. So, what is our assignment today? We have been learning about so, effects yes. of soil erosion. erosion. Yes. So, our assignment for today, mm -hmm. go and find out. That is, of course, with the help of your parent, mm -hmm. your guardian, mm -hmm. your teacher. Mm -hmm. Find out more effects. Mm -hmm. We have talked about the just simple ones. Yes. We have talked about the negative ones. Mm -hmm. We have also talked about the positive ones, mm -hmm. where we talk about the beautiful sceneries. Mm. Now, find out more. Okay. More of the positive, mm -hmm. more of the negative. More of the negative. All right, so thank you so much for joining us today. We've really had fun. We've really learned a lot. We ask you to go to our social media platforms. We are on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at EduTV Kenya. I have been your host, Wango Indirango. Our sign language interpreter has been Velma Akini, and our teacher has been Mr. Muhia. Until next time, it's goodbye. Educator.